Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Saja and I want to introduce you a new app uh, for art uh, that is a sketchbook. Uh, the best thing uh, about it is uh, it's uh, free to download. Um, now I have uh, in my laptop, but you can have it in your uh, iPad or uh, tablet. Um, so let's start. Okay, on the left side here, you can see a, a toolbar include, by clicking this button, you can see uh, many kind of uh, pencils, brushes, pens, and uh, uh, even you can use uh, textures from here, like this. And you can, uh, you have shapes, splatter, glow, and uh, any kind of uh, pastels and uh, anything that you want. And it depends on uh, your uh, type of drawing. Okay. And for example, I'm choosing a uh, pencil tool. Okay, uh, for controlling the size and the hardness, by clicking this button, uh, you can change the hardness and the size, for example, I can make it more darker, uh, 6B, or even more like 10B, but now I'm choosing uh, 2B. Uh, here also you can change the opacity, uh, the uh, shade of your pencil. You can make it lighter or very, very dark. So I'm choosing this one. So it can be like that. Um, so here, um, this toolbar, you know about it. And uh, now we move to the top toolbar. Uh, here, first one, we have undo and uh, redo buttons. And we have a magnifi um, magnifier. Uh, and you can zoom or uh, look, you can zoom your screen and make it larger. And uh, here also we have a uh, select, you can select your uh, drawing uh, by using any shape here that you want. You can use rectangle, circle, or even you can draw your own uh, figure like that. Um, so how we can use it, I will show you later. The next one is a crop tool. In crop tool, I'm gonna uh, draw a face with this uh, pencil tool for you, like this, okay. And it's a little hard uh, to draw in the lab, but I will show you how to use these old tools, control, uh, make it better. So uh, here I'm drawing a face and I choose this crop tool here. Uh, so I can try a crop uh, just is this, this is my drawing uh, or no I can uh, or I can I don't like to do it. Next one is uh, transformation. Uh, in transformation I have some tools like this. So how can I use it? For example, by this uh, kind of button, I can just draw a, this kind of figure and uh, I can uh, move this part of drawing that I want and I can move it to up and down, left and right. So now I will just turn it to, the, to its place. Or I can choose also a rectangle and move my eye, uh, the eyes of my drawing every place that I want. Um, but this button, can you see? You can see, okay? See by this, you can make it smaller, bigger, and with this, you can also make it uh, to the right and left reflected. And by this, you can make it to the left and right. Okay, and uh, by this select now, 
by this select one. Yes. Then you just, uh, then you uh, using this one, drawing this kind of uh, shapes, then by clicking on transformation, just you can uh, move any part of the drawing. Okay, next one is a uh, scale button. In scale button, uh, you can change the size of your drawing. So I can scan in the size, make it larger or smaller, like this, for example. Uh, Yeah, by just clicking on this button, look, I can just uh, change the drawing or make it like that. Or here even, just make it smaller, bigger. This is a scaling, scale uh, tool. Next one is a uh, paint, paint by function. In this paint function, I can uh, just color inside the a closed shape or figure. For example, I'm drawing a closed figure like that. Just be sure that your figure should be closed and doesn't have any gap. So I'm using this one, color of black. Uh, we have many kind of buttons. For example, this one, I can uh, make a shade inside it, look, and I can uh, just uh, play with it like and if I want to make uh, the the lightness in the middle, I can use this kind of button. Okay, the next one is uh, text. You can uh, write anything that you want inside this text. Text and uh, choose the font that you want. For example, this one and uh, the size. Just click like that and or this one, the size, for example, 72. And, and you have a text here. Um, next one is a ruler. For example, you want to draw a straight line. You can use this ruler and move it horizontal line or vertical line and uh, just draw a straight line like that okay uh, now uh, we have a uh, also a, a guiding guiding uh, tool you can guide your drawings uh, with this circle and draw anything you like okay and uh, by using this kind of uh, figure uh, this is a French curve uh, you can just uh, change the figure by clicking this button see and use the pencil and just go around it like that yes. Um, so now let's start from um, again, from this the beginning. Okay, next one is uh, perspective. Perspective guys, you can just use this one uh, for drawing a perspective. For example, I'm drawing a building like that. As, our, um, as you see, you can see the, how the lines are very clear and straight. Like that. Okay, 
So I can also uh, erase uh, any part of I uh, if I don't want it. Like here or here. I have a very good building. The next one is a reflector. Reflective uh, strokes function. And this is a reflective stroke function. It's very, very uh, good tool. By using this one, you can just uh, draw many kind of uh, shapes. For example, look. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is a user uh, symmetry line. And by using the symmetry line, you can just uh, make it uh, very easy. You can make it diagonally or in multi position like that. Okay. Next one is. Uh, 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 predictive strokes function. I don't think uh, this kind of fun, uh, tool, steady stroke, is very usable. But uh, we use it uh, depends on the floating of the line. So, for example, if I how much the this number is very low. Okay. Next one also is like uh, predictive strokes and uh, is uh, another tool like this tool. The next one is uh, draw style. So sometimes you want to draw geometrical shapes. By using these shapes, you can draw them very easily by lines, very straight lines and circles, cir uh, rectangles, and even zigzag lines like that. Okay. And uh, this button, it related to a layers button. 